Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are now going to get into the experimental phase of our um, experiment to see what biomolecules are present in various foods. So the first one I have for you is evaporated fat-free milk. So evaporated skim milk is skim milk that has had some of the water taken out of it. That's all that is missing. It has all of the uh, nutrients and everything, but none of it, some less volume. It's condensed, but it's not sweetened. They haven't added anything other than vitamins A and D, which is added to pretty much all milks everywhere. Um, well, in the United States, at least. So this one claims to be fat free. We shall see, we shall see. So I have my test tubes set up for my different experiments so that we can determine what different biomolecules are in our foods. So I have set up an evaporated milk oil test. It is currently wet and drying, so it, it does not have results yet. We'll leave that off on the side. But we shall start with the test for starch. Okay, so when I add drops of iodine to evaporated milk, one, two, three, four, and five. Five drops added to the evaporated milk. That is iodine added to evaporated milk. So in evaporated milk, this is your result for your iodine te test for starch. Okay. Next is the test for sugars. Well, actually, let's do the test for proteins. This will be BRA solution. BRA solution. This will be BRA solution. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. What do we get for BRA's solution? So as we put it in there, there's a change to the color on top. So again, that was BRA's solution, looking at the presence of protein. Okay. Third, we have the test for sugar or glucose. One. Okay, so here we have our test for glucose. We're going to mix this in as best as we can. And then we're going to take and place it in a hot water bath.
yes, we are waiting to see the results. See if it changes color. So here's a better look at the results of the Benedict's solution underneath the evaporated milk. Okay, finally. Here is the results of the test for fats, lipids. The paper is a little shiny, a little translucent. And that is the results of your evaporated milk fat test. See you in the next one.